friends and friendly subscribers welcome back to my channel this is inner hill tarot uh, today we're going to do unboxing of the healer heart oracle from rock pool um, which is the mass market oracle thank you my baby i will do your tarot reading later and he decided to sit there anyway so yeah um, it's both of this deck are from rock pool shadow and light from selena moon and now i get the healing heart oracle from ina sega as it's just like because i'm using this decks and it's been very helpful for a lot of readings lately so i figure why not doing the energy pairing with the new deck healing heart oracle well it's not new if you live in the u.s i think it's new if you live in Europe, I think, <laughs> for some reason. Um, so yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just really curious if it's going to be um, a deck that's uh, emphasized or enhancing this deck or contradict. Although I don't think there's such a thing, but I will, I won't know, you know. So it comes with the box. Um, that to me when it's opening like this and then there's a heart it's really heart and gold it's really colors of china you know <laughs> it's like a wedding gift uh boxes it will be um presented like this <laughs> but anyway the boxes is really beautiful and it said send healing love letters to your heart and build your inner strength this is such a good message Recognize the beautiful, creative, and joyful aspect of your heart and give them wings to shine through that. So it is um, only 36 uh, cards in it. it. I think it's the same with this one. It's also only 36. I really love this deck because uh, the aspect of the shadow and light within us it's very emphasized so i really uh, enjoy having a reading with it you know as a as a last or as a not last but actually in the beginning of a reading to see what is the energy is there it's very beautiful and the card stock of these two decks are very very similar um but this uh, healing heart oracle has a gold edging to it whereas the shadow and light have like iridescent color uh, edging to it i've been using it for three four months now and the edging looks still beautiful and it still looks new you know it doesn't um it doesn't chip so um i'm surprised with the quality actually but of course it's i don't know i don't want to say it at this moment let's just uh focus on the healing heart oracle uh guidebook it's always oh, beautiful with the rose it feels very rich with the imagery and it's copyright 2023 and done in China of course it's where they are doing it right now uh, and then they wonder why <laughs> their death got pirated <laughs> of course because you're printing in a country where there is no upheld of international copyright law whatsoever so counterfeited actually should be expected to be quite honest <laughs> anyway so there is an introduction um of how uh of how to face rejection basically in the heart uh, center by the way today i saw an instagram post that's saying that heart is like a labyrinth and uh, instead of just like chambers like this and in my mind it's like duh because heart is the biggest uh, muscle in our body actually so of course it has to have like a labyrinth feeling because uh, muscles it's like a string 
strange looking thing right but of course also when it's being emphasized like that then it comes really uh, very strong the message so heart chambers is not like this actually it's a wrong interpretation or misinterpretation of um, the real shape of the heart in itself but anyway this is for beauty right so it's a different thing how to use the cards one card two card reading three cards choice reading okay so it's quite um right off the bat it's quite uh, basic okay so this is the cards do we have the artist yes we do i've seen this lady a lot actually oh, she seems open daily language of your body so this is the artist the message okay so let's do the energy pairing of these two decks first and foremost um it will be very fast anyway and i hope you enjoy sorry guys it was interrupted so i probably will be have to edit this video
Okay, guys, thank you so much for staying here in the channel. We just finished the silent flip through <clears throat> energy pairing of both decks. So it's um it's very interesting also because I realized while I'm starting to doing the flip through the cardstock of uh, the Healing Heart Oracle it's felt significantly better because also it's not the glossy type like Rockpool uses a lot um, but it's felt like a better finish and it's slightly thicker cardstock than the shadow and light but then <laughs> we also realize why they can afford uh, to use a better cardstock for this deck compared to this one it's because this deck after i starting to flip through i start to realize that it is all um very heavy in the ai use in this deck um, I think it's very mid-journey heavy because some of the pictures it's like uh, very similar to other um, AI uh, AI uh, generated images you know and then I think what they do is they um, they do the AI first and then they took the image and they put uh, a little bit of more photography and illustration in between. So I guess that means it's a cut of a production time for um, for the artists that created this deck actually. And I wonder if they actually saying there's an AI um, part in this deck as well because the images um it's really deceiving some of the images he doesn't have or very limited uh, placements of ai uh, generated uh, placements and images so what i mean by that it's like this probably it's very illustrated probably now i i don't believe in anything anymore and but this part is probably very ai generated and this part is like the photography maybe is a real photograph but this part is very ai heavy you see when you're when i deal with like uh images like this now but some of the images in itself like this one is a complete ai images I start to doubt which images that actually using human um, pictures are this person is real or is this taken from like a stock photos and then stuck in other AI elements in this, you know? So the reading, it's starting to be, I started to talk about the AI instead of what am I feeling when I see this deck, you see what I mean? I think that is the big problem with this uh, situation that we are in now and also a lot of the um, deck publishers right now didn't even bother to disclose the usage of AI in their deck I mean I know that things are competitive and probably a lot of people has been saying they don't like the glossiness of the cardstock. Why can't you use a better cardstock in that? Uh, but then because mass market producer, they have their budgets, so they have to cut corners somewhere. And the cut corners has become this into the hourly paid work for the artists and instead using AI to enhance it and the budget goes towards the better cut stock you know the matte finish uh, semi rose petal or whatever it is it's actually kind of make me mad <laughs> recently the situation with the AI decks has been uh, becoming more and more rampant both um, the usage in um, uh, mass markets and independent deck and also the counterfeiting is going to the AI level now as well. Um, so 
until there is a real um, regulation about AI DAX, I won't be using um, AI DAX. So, therefore, I'm not recommending using this deck as well because um, like you see in the silent flip through and the I mean the hot takes I don't even concentrate on the message anymore I'm just busy looking at is this image is this person in this image being paid or not for being a model here or she's just someone from a stock photo and AI generated uh, and add a little bit it's really getting scary for me uh, let's see if there is any saying um, in this guidebook about the usage of AI mid journey no there is none it's quite disappointing but not surprising okay guys that is my silent flip through um, my thinking of this deck is unfortunate because it's um, the concept is actually nice because uh, you can see especially for a relationship reading if you're in a very confusing situation of how you're feeling or the other person uh, behavior towards you this probably could have work if it has been done in this way which is has no ai at all because then you can concentrate on the images and the messages there. This is a scary times, guys. Get ready for this type of things. Okay, anyway, if you like this video, nevertheless, please don't forget to uh, subscribe, share, and comment. Um, because that's the best way for you to be able to help me to keep on going in this channel. Um, and keep presenting uh, cards recommending things or not recommending things um okay so see you in the next video please do have a good monday